Hello everyone. Now welcome back to the Oracle Database Administration Workshop. So uh, again, yesterday we have seen quick demonstration on the uh, in all and log, Oracle log mode, and that and how to look the trace file, how to look into uh, my alert log, and where are my alert log location, and all those. So today also we'll go quick demonstration on how to see different uh, database files and read log files, and you know uh, SP files and P files. For that, you know again I will log into my database. I have our cell database SQL plus slash as is DBA. And then one of the very important uh, command what I what I already explained show parameter right show parameter control. Show parameter control is the one which will tell you where is my control file location. You can see right, it is under data disk group and. This is one control file, and one control file is on record disk group. So quickly, we'll go into that. Let's see Oracle. So I'll set the environment to uh, ASM plus ASM and ASM CMD hyphen P. ASM CMD is the one which will take into ASM command prompt. If I do LSDG, you will see, okay, LSDG, you will see both the disk groups. You can see data disk group and record disk group. I'll simply do LS hyphen L. You will see data and record. So if you see here, one is data over CL control file, right? So I'll go into CD data slash ORCL, right? I'll go LSFNL and I'll go inside control file. And if you do PWD also, you will see that where are you? Data over CL control file, or else you can see here also. And if I do LSFNL, you can see current. This is my control file one. And other control file is plus Rico. I'll go into Rico disk group, LS hyphen L, and I'll go into ORCL, LS hyphen L. And then this is control file. If I go here, oh, sorry, LS hyphen L, and this is control file two. I have two control file, one is on data and one is on Rico. This is like multiplex control file. And then coming to the archive logs. So what I'll do, I'll go back. And I will go inside online read log files. That is my read log files. LS and L. You can see read log group one, group two, group three. And you know, these are like you know, three read log groups. We'll see the queries in a short uh, while. And after I'll do, I'll go to data now and CD ORCL, LS and L. And you can see, right? Control file, data file, online log file, parameter and time file. Now what I'll do, alter database, uh, alter database, switch log file. Okay, it should be alter system, right? So sorry for that, alter system, switch, log file ma forcefully manually or switching uh, you know log files if i go back here if i check it here uh, where are my archive log mode archive log list it is enabled it's db recovery file list show parameter recovery it is on Rico, right? So my archaeolog should go on Rico. So we are checking on data disk group. So that's wrong. So plus Rico, I'll go into Rico. This is how you need to check. So you need to do alter log switch. It will switch the log file and do archaeolog list. It will say whether it's archaeolog mode or not. Once you get into, if you confirm it's archaeolog mode and check where is archaeolog destination, that is your DB recovery file dash. And you do show parameter recovery and your DB recovery file dash is plus Rico. And then you need to go inside first recovery and do LS hyphen LTR and go inside ORCL and do LS hyphen L. See, now you got the archaeolog. If I quickly go back when you are in Rico ORCL earlier and you have only control file and online read log file. And now you see control file, online read log file. Now there's a one more directory automatically created that is archaeolog mode because the moment you did your alter system switch, uh, switch log file, it, it generated first archaeolog. And that archaeolog created this particular directory, and inside that, that first archive log got created with the today's date. If I do ls and l, you can see today's date is created here. If I go inside that ls and l, 
you can see this is thread one so one archaeologue is got generated this is about how you can check your archaeologue and i already showed you how to check control file now we, i showed you how to check your archaeologues and now we'll see a uh, read log right read log already we i directly went into my record disk group this is online read log and i uh, shown you but there are a few command uh, with oracle one is uh, read dollar log file describe the ds disk vdlr log is a one you can see information about read log and other one is describe vdlr log file okay this is the other log uh, you know uh, table the vdlr dictionary table so by making use of them you can you can get the uh, read log information what i'll do select okay set lines 1000 set pages 1000 if i do select star from read dollar log you will see all this group 1 group 2 group 3 3 groups we have seen right i will go back once again you can see group 1 group 2 and group 3 three groups and you know all the size and what are the information what is current what is active what is inactive what is current you will see all those information if i do read dollar log file This is about read dollar log. Now, if I do read dollar log file, you will see the location. You can see all read dollar group one, group two, and group three. And one is on data, and one is on record. This is like again multiplex, right? Uh, so not multiplex, like two read log for each group. One group has two read logs. Again, second group has two read log. One is on data, and one is on record. And again, group one also has two read log, data and record, right? So that's about the read log. Already physically, also we went and seen here. And now we will see about some of the uh, data files, right? For that data files, there is a one more dictionary view called describe v dollar, uh, you know, data file. Data file. If I do this one, oh, there are so much information about data files. You know, you can see file number, file name, and you know which table space which belongs to, what is the size, what is the free space, you know, so many things. So I don't want to do everything. I will. Select only few of them. One is name, file number, status, and checkpoint. Only these three I'm interested. You can see. Okay, I'll do column checkpoint for a fifty. Okay, column checkpoint. Okay, what is that status? Okay, file name, right? File, file. Okay, column file hash. for a 50 okay now what else let me exit and reconnect here because the formatting is always uh, you know killing time killing so you have to decide right so i think uh, name i will convert column name for a 50 set Pages thousand set lines thousand. If I do it one more time, you can see now it is perfectly formatted. Name. These are the data files, and these are the numbers one, three, four, five, seven, and these are the uh, status system. This is a system data file, and these are the online. Like all data files are online. So only for the system you can see the status as system. And checkpoint. These are the checkpoint number. You can see the checkpoint is consistent across all the data files. right so that's about the uh, data files you can view and again already explained in our table space uh, uh, session there's a one more we dollar table space oh, sorry describe we dollar table space you can see this you can see select ts and uh, number ts and name comma what else i want okay that's it ts name from we dollar table space these are the different table space you can you uh, know you can see table space and these are the names these are like different table space you can make use of them let's say that's about the uh, today's demo session i believe so that's it for the today demo session we'll see in next class thank you guys